Grand Slam final ever on the Swatch FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour and it's on home sand and after Olympic gold surely this is the one that they want and to do it they must beat the forgotten team of beach volleyball after a horrible year of injury and poor results the brothers are back Swiss pairing Martin and Paul Lassiger recorded a big win over Ricardo and Emmanuel in the semi-final to get through to meet Diekmann and Reckman. and the Germans are going to have their work cut out Germany in those grey shirts blue shorts Marcus Diekmann in your picture with his hat on back to front and that's one of the Lassiger brothers Martin Lassiger he's the player that does most of the blocking in this pairing although as you've seen from many of the teams this year on the tour the defensive players are having to start to contribute at the net as well I'm Simon Golding thanks for joining me for this one an exciting and intriguing battle in prospect and after last week's win by Koblen Huscher on home sand for Switzerland in Stadt can Diekmann and Reckermann do it for Germany here in Berlin the whole of this match coming up live right here on Eurosport and for the second week running it's quite unbelievable it's an all European final only the third time that has happened in Swatch FIVB World Tour history so Switzerland off to a steady start but Diekmann and Reckermann also playing well just missed the start of this first set my apologies for that Asiga Paul this time making the chase but uh, using the wrong hand to try and bring that back in defence just scooting it straight into the advertising hoardings and again the hurry up offence out wide opening up the court and if there is a blocker on this tour that can deal with that quicker set from the Germans then it is most definitely Martin Lassiger another player that flirted briefly with professional tennis careers and Martin Conde in the same boat on that but deciding eventually at 20 years old to take up volleyball good finish by Paul Lassiger Paul Lassiger in the headband slightly older of the two brothers at 33 Martin Lassiger just 29 Paul Lassiger came to the sport pretty late at 24 years old his brother Martin convinced him to come to beach volleyball from the indoor scene and they've never really looked back since then this is their 114th event since they started playing in 95 the two Swiss brothers six wins 12 seconds and five thirds in that time and Martin played one tournament in 96 with Vesti when his brother was injured but apart from that they've played every single tournament together and a mistake from Diekmann well, that's why Marcus Diekmann hits a lot of ball cross court he's not as comfortable on the line and that's always a problem for the smaller players and the space was there it was the right decision but he just got the mechanics wrong so six points all Lassiger's back in this one there's a block very good block so the line error from Diekmann is followed up by a cross court attempt and that is well and truly stuffed by Martin Lassiger 1 meter 95 tall he's not the biggest blocker on the tour but he's certainly one of the fastest Switzerland then in the yellow once again have the advantage third seeds for this tournament in, Ber in Berlin net touch Martin Lassiger querying that one he's not sure he touched the net says his says his piece to the second official and says that the second official is wrong well we have got a net cam at this event so uh, maybe we'll get the chance to check that but at the moment the referee is not moved so change of ends so on multiples of seven to ensure that there's no advantage but there really are very few conditions in the stadium from either end the wind has dropped to almost nothing it's just about perfect beach volleyball weather minus the sun much better finish from uh, Martin Lassiger here could not flirt with the net at all Good solid line shot that's what Diekmann was trying to do a few points earlier for the Germans this is their 30th event they still haven't won one but they've made four finals and what a way to open their account in Berlin lovely cross court from Diekmann again he stays so straight in the air when he delivers these shots and really gets amazing angles well Paul Lassiger was in the right place make the play 
points saw Jonas Reckerman who delivered those four bombshell aces in their semi-final win of Abadassetti and Conde delivers a more familiar serve for him a service error and at the moment the crowd here in Berlin just a little quieter than usual and I think that's got a lot to do with the concerns over whether Diekman and Reckerman will manage to finally close a tournament out and they will with shots like that lovely from Jonas Reckerman hitting away from his body across court that's become his trademark shot over the last season or so <laughs> pretty much unstoppable two meters and one 25 year old Jonas Reckerman with the shot and he's up at the net now to make the block Paul Lassiger attacks attacks convincingly this is a really good start from both teams here you heard the call of Linia from Martin Lassiger usually the setting player in the team will make sure that they give as much information as they can to the hitters the hitter will sometimes listen and sometimes they'll just go up and hit the ball hard on that occasion Paul Lassiger listening to the information and hitting with the call into the net from Paul Lassiger very frustrating Germany get away with murder on that one quick offense outside the set was too low really should have been an opportunity for Switzerland ten points apiece in this first set best of three set final forty three thousand dollars on offer and Reckerman again brings up a massive serve for the ace and takes Germany into the first technical timeout in the lead by just one point. There's a neat touch, the smart cars in the timeout area. Jonas Reckerman at uh, two metres and one, the biggest player to have to squeeze himself into that space. It's a fine serve cross court. I'll repeat myself again at the risk of becoming boring. If Reckerman can cancel out the service errors from his game, then this German team are not only a good shot for this title this year, but they will certainly get into the top five of Olympic gold favourites. The rest of their game is just about perfect at the moment. Slightly lacklustre Berlin wave for us. You can sense some real nerves around the stadium for Diekmann and Reckerman. They recorded that marvellous bronze victory back in 2002. Finished fourth last year, so they do love this event. Paul Lassiger has looked absolutely solid side our game has been uh, superb hasn't had much in defense at the moment hitting wise has performed very well indeed that gives brother Martin the opportunity to serve right down from Diekman his celebration there to the coach at the side Jürgen Wagner their coach here watching and three months living and training in Rio de Janeiro before the start of this season is obviously paying off so it's been a, a terrific season since uh, Marcus Diekmann's recovery from that stomach injury they've been one of the teams Again, lovely quick set in the middle of the net to open up the court and Paul Lassiger left with an embarrassment of options. Puts the ball away solidly. It's a great set from a very difficult angle. And at the moment, neither team have got their offence in gear. This has all been about side out. It's all been about the team receiving the serve, playing well. And an ace. Well, I think Marcus Steekman decided to leave that serve from Paul Lassiger. And it was a misjudgment. Caught the outside of the line.
Again, the call very early, and if your player calls you twice, Linia Linia clearly heard, then it shows they're confident that the space is there. Paul Lasica confirms that by being able to see exactly where he wants to put the ball. So a couple of quick points for Switzerland, and that's left Marcus Dietmann kicking his heels out there on centre court. 14-12. 21 points the target. Timeout has been called by the Germans quite rightly. Switzerland have made one final this year so far and they had to do that because there are three Swiss teams competing for Olympic positions. Heyer and Egger. Kobel and Hoysha and the Lassiger brothers. Kobel and Hoysha at the moment looking good, although they've been injured and have injury problems at this tournament. But they are so far clear on points at the moment. It's, it's difficult to see how they can be defeated. And the Lassigers certainly on their website have already announced that they feel by getting to the final here with double points available in Berlin, that pretty much means their Olympic ticket is decided. Their victory over Heyer and Egger yesterday probably the key match in their season and they came through it for flying colours and not only have they done that they've gone on to beat the world to a number one team of Ricardo and Emmanuel and just to bring you up to date with uh, developments in the bronze match Ricardo and Emmanuel's misery continued they were beaten by Barasetti and Conde two sets to one so the Argentinians take the bronze just silver and gold to be decided that's a line shot that is a line shot 1 meter 89 just over 6 feet tall Marcus Dietmann and he can hit with the big boys that is wonderful so the side out dominance continues we wait for a team to get a real run on blocking here and we wait for one of the players to make a, a defensive touch in anger really Rickerman lashes that one off the top of the net Lassiger again Paul Lassiger on this occasion they've served him quite a lot but it's Martin Lassiger that's looked slightly more shaky they persist with this service to the man in the headband Lassiger puts another one away almost disdainfully once again change events Martin Lassiger renowned for his go for it service attitude this time he gets it wrong full house here in the Schlossplatz in the center of Berlin hoping against hope that they can witness a German victory that's a great dig <laughs> this is wonderful stuff the team's playing with each other here Oh, such a shame for Marcus Diekman. Reckman didn't give him the best set to try and finish the point on. And Martin Lassiger's just talking with the ref about that, asking about the handling of Jonas Reckman. Interesting to see whether that plays any sort of role later on as this match develops. Sometimes players get to referees a little. Jump set from Paul Lassiger didn't fool Jonas Reckerman at all that is way way out the back because Dingman is disgusted with himself well I'm not really sure where the handling query was the two sets that looked uh, slightly suspicious were from the Swiss boys during that rally I can't believe Martin Lassiger would be querying that with the ref this is typical for beach volleyball we're starting to see the defensive team now get a little bit of a handle on what the opposition players are doing and we're starting to see some more defensive touches in the block in the dig Germany patient on this occasion they get their second bite at the cherry that's always a nervy set the one after your opposition team has had a word with the referee about your handling but Diekmann did it well and Reckerman finished it well so a big serve needed from Jonas here oh, 
Well, a huge debate going on now. No, 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 no. Don't be yelling for ball calling, OK? No more. Daryl Friesen of Canada. Very good piece of refereeing from Daryl Friesen. Fast becoming one of the most experienced referees on the tour and just saying that he's refereeing the game. He doesn't want to hear any more discussion during rallies about whether it was a fault set or not. Or up and off of Reckerman's block. Massigas take the point. The referee tells everyone to shut up as Martin Lassiger makes another service error. You'll have already noticed by now the Lassiger brothers still do not communicate. Their 19th final of their career and they've done it all by almost never speaking to each other on court. It's just the way they play. And once in a blue moon you may see them touch hands but other than that they will operate as completely individual entities and after that kill there as you saw no congratulation from either player they just walk straight away from each other and get on with the next point it seems to bother us in the media more than it bothers them that's a great shot again and uh, Martin Lassiger thought he had Jonas Reckham and banged to rights there, jumped right into his angle. And just look at the height and contact point of Reckham here. That's what creates the point. Beautiful stuff. And uh, Martin Lassiger would have needed to have gone another metre across to get anywhere close to that ball. Reckham again, you'll see this familiar dip before he starts his service run up. Little idiosyncrasy of the German. It's a good serve. Yeah! Recommend serving has been much better and a little bit of afters there, I think. Lassiger through the net to Diekmann. As if to say, you may have read where I'm going to hit, but you still have to dig it. But to be fair to Marcus Diekmann, that took a deflection off the block of Recommend. Nothing to do with Marcus Diekmann's positioning there. If that had gone clean, then I think Diekmann would have touched it. Great finish from Diekmann. He's got a snap about him now. Look how straight Marcus Diekmann is in the air. And that allows him to get full view of the court. The head nice and still. The little man can operate exactly what he wants on the spike. And we're just starting to see a little more emotion now from Marcus Diekmann. Still alive. Just awesome. From both teams, real steady, patient play from the Swiss. But Germany gave everything they could in that rally. And in the end, just didn't have enough. A little bit unlucky with the way the ball came back into play for Switzerland, but with that point, it's two set points, two set balls for the Swiss pairing. The Lassiger brothers to go into the lead in this match. Paul Lassiger with a hop of frustration. A hop Schwitz, you might call it. Traditional call of the Swiss fans, of course. Not that there's many of them here in Berlin this weekend. And uh, the crowd imploring everybody to get up on their feet. There's people dragging each other out of chairs now. So it's standing ovation time for Germany. And a timeout call by the Lassikers, just waiting for the whole stadium to get up on their feet, clapping for the point. And then the Lassikers say, right, that's it. You can all sit down again. We're having a timeout. Teams then back to the cars. And something for the next server for Germany to think about. I think it's uh, actually Marcus Diekmann who will serve next. Not renowned for his ace serve, so we'll see what he tries and who he serves. Really tough to tell who you would go on, but I think on points and statistics so far, Paul Lassiger has been so solid. He's given absolutely nothing, no encouragement at all to the Germans on serve. Therefore... I would imagine Martin Lassiger is going to get the pressure. 
One kill from Switzerland and the first set is over, it's theirs. The Germans take the point and we're going to play on. There's no roof on these sets so we'll play on until someone gets two clear points. That's a slightly more enthusiastic wave around the Schlossplatz. But I think the fans have got other things to worry about and that's exactly how it should be in a sports stadium. Focus on the centre court, good serve on to Martin Lassiger. And it's down, yes! What a block from Jonas Reckerman! Oh, wonderful stuff and the Germans have come good right at the right point again. Well, it was pinball between the arms, wasn't it? And drop down and that is a mean game face from Jonas Reckerman. And it was Jonas, in fact, with the serve, and it was a brilliant serve. Can he do it again? 20 points all. We're going to play on now to two clear. Fifty-fifty. One in, one out. Can't win matches on that. So the sand just uh, run through the hands of Jonas Reckerman to get some of the moisture off because he feels comfortable that he's going to be setting the next ball because Diekman will be receiving. Diekman does receive. There's a block. Oh, this match is delivering big time now. And that is what you want to see. So 22 points to 20, the Lassigers close this first set out and go into a one set to love lead. We'll take a short break there. closely linked to the success of the Olympic Games. Today, like them, the official sponsors support the organization of the Athens 2004 Olympic Games by offering financial support, know-how, and human resources. They have the right to be associated with the Olympic Games. Watch. Welcome back. It's live action here on Eurosport from the final of the Smart Grand Slam Berlin Open here on the Swatch FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. And once again, this World Tour has delivered tremendous entertainment. The Lassiger brothers of Switzerland have really upset the crowd and the German home team by taking the first set 22 points to 20. And we got more of the same in the second set. And this time, the smallest man on court, Marcus Diekman, does the blocking. That's a really good rescue off that first shot from Jonas Reckham, and that's really where the point was won. <laughs> tiny, tiny attempt to block, but the hands over the net was good enough. Germany then. A long way to go in this second set and a long way to go in this match. They...
my apologies for that. We just lost uh, sound. The guys at Eurosport working really hard to get us back on air. Well, I'm delighted we are because this is one hell of a Grand Slam final and it's fitting for the first Grand Slam of the 2004 Swatch FIVB World Tour season. We've been treated to some more terrific volleyball and it's being delivered by two teams from Europe. The Lassigas of Switzerland in yellow against Dietmann and Reckham and the home team from Germany in the great silver tops. That's classic stuff. That is brilliant from Marcus Dietmann and he's got to watch himself here. He's just getting a little overhyped. And if the German team want to take this all the way into a tiebreaker third set, he's going to need all his energy. That is just brilliant. But this is even better. Way off the net. No right to put that ball down. And what a start to the second set. Four points to one. And in rally point, you could almost argue the Germans should hold this. That's a pretty bold statement so early on. But such is the level of these players. That's how they'll be thinking. Just keep plugging away on side out. So Switzerland win the right back to serve. Martin Lassiger, who's been a little variable from the service line. Straight into the net. No pressure put on to the German side. And Jonas Reckerman knows that they're in a crucial phase of this set. And he skips straight round to the other side of the court wants to be ready to serve as quickly as possible realizing that the uh, faster they can bring this on the less time the Lassigas have got to slow this whole thing down and that counts in Germany's favor at the moment Reckerman he too contributes with an error and the error count is growing on the service line for both teams now Maybe that will tell at the end of this match. But for the moment, Germany hold the lead in the second set. Switzerland hold the lead in the match by one set to love. Great first set action. Live here on Eurosport, Europe's number one sports channel. Brilliant. Recommend going cross court again. Well, Lassiger in the right place, but the overhand attempt just couldn't get his hands up fast enough. court from Martin Lassiger again when the Swiss team get control of the ball they were one of the first teams to use this hurry up offense the quick set out to the antenna other teams have now copied but it's so destabilizing for the defensive side if you can move the ball quickly along the net this time Martin gets it right and a great block big shout of hot bar from Martin as he realizes that he's got that one Really clamped out Jonas Reckerman on the line, and that's a big guy to be blocking. Oh, that is terrific. So far away from his body as well, and that just gives you an idea of the power of the man. To be able to keep his shoulders and arms stabilised when you're that far away from the centre line of your body. Another good serve. Oh, wonderful. just plays and there are just certain times in these beach volleyball matches where the hair on the back of your neck stands up and we've just had two examples of that the first dig from Paul Lassiger down the line was awesome and the put away hit from Jonas Reckerman just every bit as good left Lassiger Paul Lassiger struggling Germany keep their cushion a point here would come in very handy Again, the hurry-up offence, well retrieved. Oh, and the throw down. Jonas Reckerman sacks Paul Lassiger. Two very, very good blocks indeed. And we've got a game on now. I think the German nerves have gone. They were a little tight in that first set, and I think that's out the window now. And the experience of their fifth final is allowing them to start to play. 
Rejection. Wonderful stuff from Reckerman. That's just too good from Paul Lassiger. He's always done this. He hits the ball. He turns away as he's hitting. He kind of lands and looks around him. He's all very serene. And he's exactly like that off court. Had a number of opportunities to talk with him over the years, including one very philosophical discussion around the harbour at Stavanger. He's a very, very intelligent man. But he loves to play his beach volleyball despite what he looks like on court most of the time. Nice second ball hit, and uh, Paul Lassiger a bit annoyed with Martin there. They have to turn away from each other because they do tend to get a bit nasty with each other on court. So they'll turn away and have a shout, but uh, Paul Lassiger couldn't contain himself there. Wanted to know what on earth Martin thought he was doing. That was a, a pretty obvious attack coming. 9 6, that's a handy lead at this stage for Germany. is just too good and the main thing about that rally well spectacular play says the scoreboard and they're not wrong but the main thing about this is the understanding that has now developed between these two players Reckerman instinctively knew that that ball was going to be played by Diekman but what a lobbed cut with power down the line for the point he's going to have to watch his vocal cords if he keeps shouting like that Well, Deakman was on that. He really was on that, and he stopped running. Once again, Paul Lassiger with no side-out pressure on him at all. He really has played some majestic volleyball out there. Martin has always been a bit more frenetic and full of energy. And it is Martin to serve. Good dig. out and clutches his head as Martin Lassiger uh, sorry Paul Lassiger goes through a couple of little routines to remind himself what he should be doing when he digs the ball but in all honesty he had no right to make that first dig and the fact that it went back over into play for Germany was just one of the things but at least it was still in play and through it the Swiss team have earned another point they've closed the gap to two 8-10 they trail in this second set Died again, he's in the right place every time. The thing with Paul Lassiger though is that he can also chase the ball down when required. He's not just a power shot digger, he will also make the soft shots when he's on his game, but we've got to, got to wait for that to happen at the moment. The points being won in other areas at the moment by both teams. And he did a good serve there and it was really his service miss just after he delivered a great serve and block in the first set that gave Switzerland the point and took them on once again to set point they close that first set out they lead the game one set to love now Martin Lassiger wants that looked at. No, he doesn't. He's turned away, just made his protest. Turned away. Technical timeout. Germany hang on to this narrow margin. That was very close to touching both Marcus Diekmann and the line, but it didn't. Germany have the point. So it's the fifth final for the German team. Diekmann and Reckerman, they've been playing now since 2001. And when they started, their results were not particularly encouraging. Had three good opening tournaments and then had a, just a terrible run. Three thirteenths, a 41st, a 57th, a 17th, a 25th. But they kept going. They realised that the pairing that they had would work eventually. And through some very dedicated training and a professional outlook to this sport of beach volleyball. Dietman and Reckerman have emerged in 2000 and in part of 2003 and 2004 as one of the 
teams on the world tour. But to be one of those legendary teams, you really have to deliver a win. And a win at a Grand Slam would be useful. Great block by Martin Lassiger. Well, maybe the little verbal pasting that he got from his brother on that last second hit miss paid dividends because here, as soon as he saw Jonas Reckerman move to hit the ball, he was in the air. That's a top read from Martin Lassiger and the crowd once again falls silent and that's a shame for Germany. And it's very, very unlike this Berlin crowd. That is great heart from Marcus Diekmann. The center of the Swiss leveled the scores. Germany go back into a 1-0 lead and that initial burst of 4-1 uh, at the start of the set, three-point lead is all forgotten now. Germany back in a dogfight. That's the way to work it. That really is the way to work it. Get up in the air, at least make the blocker think you're going to hit it. And then a very sweet set from Paul Lassiger. That's a wonderful kill from Marcus Diekmann, but I think Germany have got problems here. Their body language is not good. They've gone a little bit tight on us again. You can't keep making side outs like that all day long. Eventually, it's going to catch up with you. You have to find a more relaxed way back into this game. This man, Jonas Reckerman, has to start serving once again with accuracy and with venom. <laughs> Scrappy rally, chances for both teams, and eventually it's uh, Paul Lassiger. Incredible dig. Just working it down the line. The way he looks, you'd have thought he'd have lost the point, wouldn't you? 13 apiece. It's Martin Lassiger's turn to get stuck in. This time, Paul. Here's the thoughts of his brother. Martin Lassiger, as many blockers do feel, thought that his brother should have made that play in defence. That's blockers for you. <laughs> the net touch from Jonas Reckerman and Martin Lassiger talking it up a bit at the end, and that's not going to uh, endear him to Daryl Friesen, the Canadian referee. There's the net touch, just with the stomach as uh, Jonas Reckerman comes down. Martin Lassiger with a little bit of chat as he goes under the net. Not averse to winding the opposition up. But he's also a good lad, is Martin Lassiger. He's uh, very popular around the tour. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. And that's what Jonas Reckerman has to realise. The height that he operates at when he gets everything right is a good half a metre over the top of the best block that Martin Lassiger can put up and that's exactly what he needs to do good high contact point bit of top spin on to take it in deep another point to Germany now he needs to do the same with his serve the ball controller Marcus Diekmann is superior to many players on this tour and the diminutive German with his cap on back to front does the business there <laughs> he's gonna shout himself stupid by the end of this game another outpouring of emotion 
as he realises that he made a, a critical point there. It's the business end now of this second set. These next couple of points are absolutely crucial to Germany's hopes. And it's a massive ace down the middle. The whole part of that service was better. It was a slower toss, a slower approach. And then the swing through to the high contact point. Reckonman wasn't trying to hit the cover off this ball. He was trying to direct it with pace deep into court. Straight down the middle. The old hubby wife serve, as the Americans call it. No communication between the Lassiger brothers. That's not unusual. But for one of them not to play the ball is uh, just unheard of. And Reckonman needed to put the ball in court that's what uh, gets coaches eating their clipboards to be honest and now they're required to make a solid side out they're under pressure here that's just brilliant well, it's tough to pick a, an MVP from this match because all the players have been so good, but at the moment, my vote would definitely be for Paul Lassiger. He's come up with a couple of genius pieces of defence in the last few points, but he has also been the most solid player out of all four on side out. Now, Paul Lassiger needs to deliver from the service line. Doesn't do it. This is by metre and a half, two metres there. German crowd, a very knowledgeable crowd in Berlin, realising that uh, that has nearly handed it to the Germans. Two-point cushion. In professional terms, they shouldn't be losing this. Good cross-court finish. Well... <laughs> Marcus Dietmann wants someone to have a look at that, but uh, as the lines person is suggesting, he touched it anyway, so whether it was in or out is irrelevant. It was in. So just a little frustration boiling over from Marcus Dietmann. He uh, can be a hothead. In recent seasons, he's uh, got that under control. Channels everything into his volleyball now. Mm, one point the difference, the pressure. He's back. Pressure is relieved. Another service error from the Lassiger brothers. This time Martin overcooks it. It's time for the crowd to try and weigh in. Up they go again onto their feet. And the Lassigers too late with a timeout this time round. Oh my goodness. Well, Jonas Reckerman seems determined today to make this crowd suffer. They are living every single point with him. And again, he leans away from the shot, gets his shoulder tight and misses it. Lassigas are back in this. It's out. Paul Lassiger wants to know why his brother didn't chase that one down. Well, it would have been a miracle if he'd rescued it from there. Once again, it looks like we are going to go to a tiebreaker. We're going to three all the way. Germany need one more point. And if Martin Lassinger had missed that one, his brother wouldn't have been happy, but he gets it away. So Germany effectively have one swing to go into a third and deciding set. 20 points to 19. cycling cap that uh, Martin Lassiger likes to wear this time Germany take the upper hand and call the timeout timeouts 30 seconds each and they can be used for a variety of reasons sometimes to take fluid on sometimes to just get in for a rest but more often than not they're used in a tactical sense to stop the game and allow the player that have, has called it to reset Better. Well, nobody 
you can quite recreate the uh, Klug and Furt slow wave, which I'm sure we'll be seeing in a few weeks' time when we go down for the Grand Slam in Austria. The Berlin crowd giving it their level best. And everybody in this stadium now completely tuned into this match. This is it. Martin Lassiger to serve. Germany need one point to take it to a tiebreaker. They got it! What a massive shot from Diekmann down the line, despite the attentions of Paul Lassiger. The German team put the ball away. 21-19, they take the second set. Wow, what emotion in this stadium. What a game of beach volleyball. It's one all. And we're going to go to a tie-break deciding set of 15 points. And you would have to be a fool to put money on one of these teams because it is absolutely even Steven at the moment. Germany go one all with Switzerland. The intense discussion, you can see Marcus Diekmann is right up there on the edge. He's the emotional guy in this German team. Oh, he's wide open. Information flying at Jonas Reckerman. Reckerman's laid back. Very cool about everything. Just listens to uh, his partner. The Lassigas, on the other hand, no communication whatsoever. If they could sit in opposite parts of the stadium during timeouts, they would. This is what it's all about on the Swatch FIVB World Tour. Once again, the crowd totally locked into this match. The announcer just getting everybody going. Another regular part now of the World Tour. The one thing that isn't here in Berlin, the dancing girls. We'll see them again in uh, Stavanger. That's where the teams are off to next in Norway. For the time being, it's back to this smart Grand Slam action in the Berlin Open. 15 points to decide who will be the first Grand Slam winner of 2004. The Lassigas trying to hunt their seventh World Tour win. Germany in the dark grey shirts looking for their first ever career win. And that will do very nicely to start with. Good finish from Marcus Diekmann cross court. It's a mistake from Martin Lassiger. The block of Jonas Reckerman was established well and the serve was pretty good. Let's just see what happens here. Well, it nearly makes it over and in. Makes it over and out, unfortunately, for Switzerland, that is. To love, Germany get off to another flyer. Oh, genius! That is genius from Marcus Diekmann. And I'll let him off now. He can have a shout as much as he likes because that has just about set it up for the German win. What a one-handed dig down the line. The Americans call it taking your dog for the walk. But you've got a big dog on the end of a lead dragging you across court. And Jonas Reckerman, his blocking partner, knows that was a very important play in the context of this match. 3-0. A 15 point set, one more point, and Germany are looking good. Germany are looking really good at the moment. Oh, an audacious roundhouse type spike from Paul Lassiger, who once again betrays no emotion at the situation. The Swiss team hanging on by the skin of their teeth. That was incredible. Very English rugby team, winning ugly, they call that. No offence to Paul Lassiger. 
Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Well, I'm not sure how Daryl Friesen is going to view that because the serve was hit. Paul Lassiger's celebration or commiseration arrived at the point at which Jonas Reckerman should have been moving to the ball. And I think that stopped the German from playing it, but no protest has been made. The ball drops in court and the German start has all but been wiped out. Again, the quick set outside, the knuckle ball over the top of the block. Marcus Diekman uses that so well. And after that initial line shot error in the first set, he has been absolutely brilliant in that area of the court ever since. Diekman kisses the ball once again before the serve. He knows how vital this point is. He's got it. Another chance though for Switzerland. And the block, and that's a good block from Reckerman because Paul Lassiger was trying to go through the middle of his arms and he closed that down very well indeed. Closed it down for the stuff point. A couple of people in the crowd enjoying that one. A little too much maybe. 5-2. This is now the best chance that Diekman and Reckerman have ever had to win an event on the Swatch FIVB World Tour and it's just got better. Big strong arm from the man they call Hightower on the World Tour. That's what the other players call Jonas Reckerman and that's why. Towering way above Martin Lassiger to put that ball into court. And Germany once again are forcing the pace in this tiebreaker set. That's brilliant. Well, it's pretty unconventional stuff, but Germany once again makes Switzerland work. Martin Lassiger just has a little look through the net at Reckerman there. Lovely play from Jonas Reckerman to keep that in court. Paul Lassiger been stuffed once now in this game only takes on the block once again to be honest Reckerman and so he should do he's hitting very well today and familiar look away actually into the middle distance that's brilliant well I'm going to run out of things to say about this match the uh, superlatives keep flowing and the beach volleyball keeps getting better and better that's a brilliant spike cross court that's amazing and Diekman really had no right to make that angle but he did and he did it effectively seven points to three now Germany in this third set oh, I think just about every single person in the stadium there is suffering along with Jonas Reckerman. He cannot get a ball in court on service for love nor money. But still, Germany are winning this match. Much better moving the set just a little inside, so Martin Lassinger was forced to step across in the block. That means he lost a bit of height. And as he lost the height, Marcus Diekman was happy to go off the fingers. Well, the crowd groaning because they thought that the point had gone the way of Switzerland, but the ball dropping off the net. Martin Lassiger completely caught out there. Maybe he saw his brother Paul out of the corner of his eye, also running towards the, the ball. But a complete howler. Well, nearly got it back into play. Jonas Reckerman deciding the 20-25 metre chase was too far on that occasion. The tension builds as we move towards the final stages of this Berlin Open final. And with that point, the Lassiger brothers have closed the gap to an uncomfortable margin for Germany. 
the Lassigas were to win today, then it will be two Swiss wins in a row on the World Tour. Now, that's not unusual. They've had back-to-back -back wins before, but it was Kerbel and Huscher in uh, Start who got the last Swiss win, and their opponents. Plus Diekmann and Reckerman. And the tension, the pressure is getting to the young Germans. Reckerman is blocked cross court. Not a shot he should put away all day. Two points now, the difference. And Germany call a timeout, quite rightly. They still have the upper hand in this game, and they just need to get back to the timeout area and remind themselves of that fact. So Germany lead in this third set by nine points to seven. Well, it comes down to some basics. You can play blinding beach volleyball all day long and not win matches if you don't do the basics. And when Jonas Reckerman gets his serve right, it's a real weapon for the German team. When he gets his block right, it's formidable for the German team. And if Marcus Diekmann can take care of his side-out game on receipt of service, then those are your three factors, I think, which the German team have to look at. I don't think this is about how well they do the good things. I think this is about how much they can just fine-tune the mistakes and the errors. And I think that's the difference between them and the Lassigas at the moment. The Lassigas playing very consistent volleyball and getting themselves back into this third set. But Germany still lead. That is a straight-down kill from Reckerman. And that's what this man is capable of at two metres and one centimetre tall. Quick, flat, middle of the net. Very steep trajectory, and uh, well, Lassiger was lucky to get anything on that. Or unlucky, if you look at it in that way, because that was hit pretty hard. Three-point cushion restored. Ten points to seven. This is looking very good for Diekmann and Reckerman, and bearing in mind their last celebration when they got the bronze medal here in 2002 be very interested to see what they do this time round. Touch called on Jonas Reckerman and acknowledged immediately by Reckerman. That makes Daryl Friesen's job a little easier to have the players confirming decisions. Micro touch. Just the outside of the finger, the little finger. Switzerland live to fight again. Well, a brilliant put away from Paul Lassiger, but I can tell you, every time Marcus Diekmann plays that really rushed offence where he scuttles into the net, every time he plays it, he unsettles Reckerman's set. He doesn't make a good play. And he's either blocked or dug. And that's what's happened to him on this occasion. Easy kill in the end for Paul Lassiger. This is now getting very edgy for both the crowd and the German team. Brilliant, because Marcus Diekmann was read by Paul Lassiger easily on defence. So Jonas Reckerman decides to weigh in with what he does best. Blocks the ball, and Paul Lassiger once again is stopped. Only the second time in the match, but possibly the most crucial time. 11-9 now, Diekmann and Reckerman. Point chance again. Oh, what a dig from Paul Lassiger. And it's still alive. Chance for Switzerland. Chance again. Well, just take your hats off to both teams. That was marvellous. Beach volleyball at its very, very best. Great play on the scoreboard, goes nowhere near to describing what we've just witnessed. Daryl Friesen is calming everyone down, there's a lot of shouting going on. And that was genius. That's what the crowd have come to see. 
And if you get one of those rallies in a tournament, then you have been very lucky indeed. And we've had about four of them. Deepman and Reckerman must wonder what they've got to do to get past this Swiss team. A couple of times now, it looks like they've run away with this final set. It looked like the title, the first one of their careers, was in the bag. And on three occasions now, Switzerland have come back into the reckoning. Got to come over. Oh, what is Martin Lassiger doing? What on earth was he doing? He'd gone so hard on that service to create the opportunity. Paul Lassiger somehow got it into a playable zone on the net after it touched his block. And he kind of double faked there. I think he was in two minds about what to do. And he was just too low to hit the ball. And it's come out good for Diekman and Reckerman. 12-10 now. Three points away from the big one. Grand Slam title in Berlin. Good shot from Martin Lassiger under pressure. Works this very well off the hands of Jonas Reckerman. Pressure is on Switzerland now. They have to make the running in these next few points. Germany just have to do what they do best. And they don't on that occasion. Martin Lassiger has read. Diekmann again jumped into his cross court. And Diekmann has been conned there. That was a big switch play from the Swiss. Martin Lassiger setting up on the line, jumping into the cross court. Paul Lassiger running late. And that was a brave play at that stage, but it's worked. Twelve points all. Could all have been so different. Another point chance, Switzerland. Oh, and Reckerman does it this time. How many times in this tournament has the 25-year-old from Colne rescued his team from what looked like a certain point to the opposition? I've lost count now. Just brilliant. The trajectory of the ball showing that that was a right on the edge block. But they all count. Well, Diekman not kissing the ball. He's blowing on the ball now. He's going to hope to blow this one over. It's in play. He's on it. Point chance, Germany. And they've done it. Wow. And all of a sudden... Marcus Diekmann doesn't want to celebrate because he realises he is on the edge of making history in the career of Diekmann and Reckermann from Germany. And with this phenomenal smash across court, it is match point to the Germans. They've waited so long for this moment. Martin Lassiger attacks, it's off the head of Jonas Reckerman and out of court. The bugle, the trumpet, whatever you want to call it. The indignity of having the ball thumped off your forehead. And Reckerman will have some repairs to make to the spectacles after this one. Oh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> not, uh, not the best finish that Jonas Reckerman's ever had. The reason that he's such a good blocker is because he can get his face up and above the net. Once in a while, you're just going to have to take one off the bounce. Still match point to Germany and still on the edge of a very special achievement indeed. Oh, I don't believe it! Oh, I don't believe it! What an amazing serve from Martin Lassiger. And the opportunity to win this match straight out has just evaporated through one of the most courageous and brave serves I've seen on a beach volleyball court for many a year. 14-all. We're going to play on to two clear. 
Martin Lassiger is delivering bombs from the service line and Reckerman responds with power two match points are gone but another match point has materialised the third oh my goodness can Jonas Reckerman and Marcus Diekman do it so much disappointment in their previous four finals look at the difference in stance between the two Swiss players Reckerman gets a great serve in the pressure's on it's down